right, Zena, welcome back. We are gonna do a manicure with this new Impress Color Press On Manicure. Um, and it comes in this little kit, has all these little nails in here. Hopefully these are the right sizing and whatnot. Looks like the adhesive is already on the nail, so you just have to like pull the tab, peel it back and stick it on. It seems rather simple. I hope it's that easy. It also comes with a few little tools and some instructions. So we got this cute little cuticle pusher wood thing. We've got a prep wipe. Okay, let's see, what, what is all this? A prep wipe. And oh my goodness, look at how adorable. I'm sorry, this is just too cute. It's really stuck on there good. But it's a one-sided little baby emery board. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that on this table. Okay, step one, clean, clean your nails. Okay, well this looks really so easy. So let's use this wipe. My hands are clean. Oh my goodness, this is just an itty bitty little wipe for, make sure your nails are really clean before you do that because there's not much to it. So I'm just gonna, I think it's just alcohol. So if you have regular alcohol wipes, I think they'll work the same. But nonetheless, I'm gonna clean any dust or whatever off my hands. And just let that air dry. And then I'm gonna just dump all these nails out and figure out what size I need. These seem like a petite set. It doesn't say petite, but they just seem kind of small. Um, it says step two, peel off. Step three, align. Step four, press on. But I kind of feel like you need to align first to find the size. Okay, so that's my thumb. That's my pinky. There's 30 nails, so there is a variety of sizes. I don't know. Also, I can't tell if I'm supposed to put them facing this way, maybe. Yes. So the tab end goes towards you once you peel it off. Okay, copy. So that could affect the sizing for sure. Okay. Nonetheless. Okay. So I need... They're such cute little sizes. I... I don't see numbers on them, so I don't know. I mean, they're numbered on here, like one through five on your fingers, but I'm not seeing numbers on the on the nail, so. So this is going to take a little bit of time to, to sort out, I think. One, two, three, four. I need one more size to fit here. Okay, so now I just need to match these up with counterparts, so that's too big. I think that is the same size. Oops, I'm just double checking. Not just a visual match, but an actual size match. Do, 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 do. So this really is the most tedious part is just picking which nail for which finger. Not difficult, but with 30 to pick from, you only have 10 nails, so you do have some variance in size. And it may be that what fits on one hand is too small for the other, so 
I am still, in fact, separating them. So mine is slightly bigger pinky on the right side. And I have probably three more sets of nails here. Or if I can get more adhesive, I probably can reuse these. But anyway, for now, we'll put that away. I don't, I don't need that. That's it. So now, it should be super fast. We're just gonna press them on. So peel, align and press. Sounds simple enough. This is a nice color too. I don't know what the name of this color is. I'm sure it will say on the thing. Oh, but they feel really stuck on. I haven't had fake nails in decades. Decades. Um, these are a nice length. I might not have to adjust them much. Does this say? It does. Platonic pink. Okay. Well. This is gonna be awkward for me. I'm so not used to fake nails. I keep my nails very short, actually. Typically, I mean, that came from decades of sports and flying and having to wear gloves and punch panels open, do an aircraft walk around. And yeah, long nails was just not conducive to any of that, nor safe, nor smart. Yeah. But I'm gonna get these on and I'll show you actually very nice and we'll see how long they last I'm just gonna do normal wear and normal activities I'll probably spend a good bit of time after I get off the video just pressing them on oh, oh. making sure they're on there nice and good well seated but wow I'll tell you if I had to put on nails for just real quick you know for a wedding or an event or to go out to dinner for a fancy thing and I don't, you know, maybe I'm a nurse or something and I can't have, you know, nails all the time. This is a quick, easy way to do it. I mean, look, that was longest it took was picking which ones and they're done. And they certainly, at a minimum, would last for the evening. I mean, I feel like they're on there really good. And like I said, they're not too long. So like the back sides of them, I mean, if I tip, you can see the tip of it, but they're not, they're not ungodly long. Yeah. It does feel a little bit strange because I'm not used to fake nails, but as far as fake nails goes, static. It is easier to do the first hand so then your nails aren't getting in the way of the second hand that being said though they're dry immediately so it's not like polish where you have to worry about you know dinging up the the drying of it and and whatnot and it's even color street you know if you install one hand and then try to do the other ones it can mess up your manicure in the process if you don't do it right this, there's none of that. None of that is a concern at all. You just put them right on, which is great. So easy, so fast. You know, I've, I've not had a need for press on nails anytime recently, but these would be a good go-to. So simple. And they're already painted, already colored or whatever. Ugh, get off me. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, taking them off, I don't know. We shall see. I'll read the directions here. I probably should have done that before I put them on because eventually they will have to come off. But for now, on. And that's it. Beautiful manicure in five minutes or less. Nice shiny gloss to it. I don't know what colors they come in. I don't know if they come with a matte polish look either, but yeah. I mean, they feel like they're on there. Yeah, okay. And then you have this adorable little file to shape 
I mean, they really have very smooth edges. You don't need to do a whole lot to them. There is just a little bit of a roughness to some of them. So you just kind of smooth that out like you would your natural nail. I don't know. It seems it works fine. So I'll work on that after, but just a, like like where they were manufactured and pulled apart or something. There's just a slight, like a sandpaper roughness to the end of it, but that's it. Press on, impress. Let's see what, if there's anything else we need to know. Do, do, do. Does not say how to remove them. Oh, yeah. To remove, gently peel off from the sides or dab polish remover between your natural nail and the impressed nail. Wait one minute and peel off. If needed, use the manicure stick to help with the removal. Simple enough. Okay, have a great day. Bye for now.